There's another steal for the Tigers. Long outlet pass for Lee, and he will flush it home. Transition basket. Looks like that, that time, Wilson got on the fast break. They need more easy basket. They, they opened up in the man-to-man -man that time. I mean, they came on the man-to-man, -man and it, it's helping them out in the uh, transition game. Time out on the floor, taken by Cooley. Wilson taking the lead. DC 28 Sports. Wilson is taking the lead, a four-point lead. 10 to, four, 10 to 6 over Cooley. Wilson going to the 3-1 press, trying to hold things up. Trying to slow the ball down, but Cooley hasn't had any offense here late in the first period. Miller wide open for a three-pointer. No good in Missed opportunity for Keelis early. Yes, but there they go with the steal. Oh, still can't get the layup. Payne misses the putback. Keelis having problems putting it in the basket. Joe Brown slows it up for the Tigers. The 11th break Wilson Tigers with the four-point lead. They go down low to Haiti, pulls the foul line. Jay, no good. Rebound is lost out of bounds by Wilson. Coolidge Colts basketball. It looks like Wilson will apply more pressure in the backcourt. Here they come. They get it, they break the press to Weaver. Back to Hall. Under a minute remaining in the first period. Pulls the jump shot, no good. Wilson has hit a, well, Coolidge make that, it's hit a dry spell. That's right now, they can't get any of their shots to fall in and out the basket. Strong follow by Lee. And he was really trying to stuff that one in over Payne. Two on the free throw line with 33 seconds remaining in the first period. Neither team looking at impressive at all on offense here early in this one. And it looks as if the coolest calls they've forgotten about going inside the pain right now because they've taken a numerous amount of three-point shots. Like Charles said, free throws are going to be important in this contest. And Another missed miss free throw for the Tigers. One out of two for Alfonso Lee. Five point lead for Wilson. 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Al Miller finally gets it across the half court line. Weaver is fouled. That's not Weaver. Make that number 15. He's checking to the ball game. Lamar Leonard for Coolidge. Pulls up for the shot. No good. Payne with the rebound. Pump fake. Turn shoot. Too strong. Loose ball kick. Back and forth. Layup no good. Three seconds remaining on the clock. Out of bounds. And Coolidge basketball. Wilson's defense has been very stingy here late in the first period. Yes, Wilson is playing man to man. They're playing tough man to man. They're not letting Payne get the ball inside. One second on the clock. Payne's prayer. No good, and that's the end of the first period with the score, 11 to 6. Wilson up by 5. Coolidge hasn't scored in four possessions. They're struggling on offense. And Tom, Dwayne, Derek Payne, I'm sorry, hasn't been a factor at all. No, they strayed away from him quite a bit, then he tried to get back into his game with a few seconds left in the first period. But was unable to connect on a couple of shots. It's been five unanswered by Wilson. Al Miller with it at the top of the key. 11-6. Wilson Tigers with the five-point lead early. Lamar Leonard. And checked by Lee. Over to Miller. Swing pass. Paul tried to get it in the
the paint. Jump ball is the call. Wilson's basketball. Not a good pass inside the paint. Wilson hasn't been spectacular on, on offense either. Let's see what they do in this possession. There's a three-point attempt. No good. Over the back call. And Charles, it seems like Wilson now, they're, they're thinking about going with a quick outside shot. And we saw earlier they had success going down low. Well, you need it. Well, you need to hit the outside shot in order to pound it inside. So I think that's a, that's a good idea by the Wilson coach. Substitutions in the ball game. In the contest at number 34, Stanford in for Coolidge. And back in the ball game for Wilson. It's number 22, Wade. Long pass. Being stopped around. Lee handles it. Brown thought about the three-pointer. Uses his quickness to get inside. Dumps it off. <laughs> and Stanford rushes it away. Stanford dribbling the big palace loose. Layup is no good. Both teams shooting bricks here in the first half of this one. Low scoring affair. Wade looking down low. Brown nearly had his pocket pick. Dribbles it. Off of Miller's foot. Good defense by Al Miller. Yeah, he's putting the defense on. Another substitution. Number 30, William Hayford coming into the game for number 22, Gary Wade. Wilson once again looking down low. Brown cross court to Hayes. Brown sets the long three-pointer. Another missed shot for the Tigers. Three-point attempt, no good, rebounded, and an easy basket coming up, we think, <laughs> for Cooley. Nothing's been coming easy for either of these teams in this ballgame. That cuts the lead to three. So no offense virtually for Coolidge or Wilson in this ballgame. But Coolidge is only trailing by three points. Coming up on six minutes remaining in the first half. Brown slows it up. Over to, to Hayes. Takes the shot. No good. And Payne gets the rebound down. Miller, strong pass inside. Outlet, three-point attempt. No good. Stanford had it for a second. Finally gathers it. Takes it in the paint. Thought he traveled. But here comes Wilson. They have a three-on-two break. Brown, nice hesitation to the basket. Great open court action by Brown. Yes, what a, what a great move. What a great move. Luke, he had to defend it like he wanted to pass. Just fake the pass and lays it up. Those are skills that they can't teach. 13 to 8 is the score. Wilson with the lead. Penetration by Coolidge. Their select shot collection has been poor. It looks as if Wilson, the defenders, are making them change their shot in the air. And therefore, you have a lot of missed shots. Strong move down low by Terrence Davis. He gets fouled and he'll go to the free throw line. Substitution coming in, number 22, coming in for Coolidge, Jamal Goodall, taking a seat is Hall. Just under five minutes remaining in the first half. Make sure you stay tuned to halftime. Fast time festivities right here on DC 28 Sports. First free throw is nailed by Davis. This is the second one, rebounded by Payne. Miller sets the offense for Coolidge. 
35 remaining in the first half. 14 to 8 is the score. Three-point attempt is no good. Rebound by Stafford, but he blows the easy layup. Payne turns and shoots and nails it. Good job by Derek Payne to clean up on the offensive boards and get the basket. Four-point lead for Wilson. Like we said earlier, Wilson's defense has been very good, and they've held Coolis to only 10 points in the first half of action. But if you look on the other end, Coolidge has only held Wilson to 14 points. So both, both defensive teams today have stepped up, stepped up big. Because they, they had, to, uh, on Wilson's part, they had to stop uh, Derek Payne on the They've other side. They've done that. Yeah, they have done that. They have done that very, very well. But I think, I think Coolidge needs, needs to try to get Payne the ball. Because he can make things happen. First free throw was good. Baldwin, he misses the second one, 15 to 10 is the score, but they get the rebound. Baldwin takes the three-pointer and nails it, so a four-point play for Wilson. <laughs> 18, 10 is the score. Goodall swings it over to Miller. Miller wide open for three. No good. And the rebound goes to Coolidge. Wilson has to watch Payne here on the baseline. Because he was open a couple of times and Coolidge just unable to get the ball down to him. And Wilson are satisfied with letting uh, Coolidge, Coolidge shoot the open three-point shot. But they're just going to stop Payne in the middle. Exactly. You see they left Miller wide open that time for the three-pointer. Didn't contest it at all. Let it go down low that time, and Wilson forces a turnover. So with three and a half minutes remaining in the first half, 18-10, Wilson Tigers with the lead. Baldwin running the point guard position right now for, for Wilson with Brown on the bench. He pulls up for another three-pointer, and he's heating up. Yes, they, they, can't, they cannot leave him open. Because if you leave him open, he will drain the three. He's been putting up some big numbers early in the DCIAA basketball season. 21-10 is the score, 11-point lead for Wilson. Nice pass down low to number 15. Leonard, and he'll go to the free throw line, and now it's time for Coolidge to hit their free throws. Yes, but a good way for Coolidge to work the ball around so they can find the open man down low inside and draw the foul as they did. But 21 to 10, Wilson trying to pull away from Coolidge. Yes, this is going to be important for, for Coolidge to keep it close going into the locker rooms. You don't want the Tigers to go in there with a comfortable lead. First free throw is missed by Leonard. The second one is no good. Payne with the hard follow. Stanford goes up and misses another layup. Two forty remaining in the first half. But Sandy missed the shot. Payne with yet another rebound. Here comes Al Miller. Close it up. Leonard for three. No good. Payne almost had the rebound, but Lee rushes it away from him and bounces it off the leg of a Coolidge defender. Charles Halls checks back into the ball game. Or for um <laughs> uh, 
Here's the inbound, pa inbound pass for Wilson. 2-10. Remaining in the first half. 21 to 10 is the score. 